Hi, Peter. I'm going to try a new way of, um, with your math here, to help you. Um, it's a new trick I learned with the computer, so we'll see if it works here. But um, you should be on 91, and let's go ahead and read that story problem together, and then we'll talk about it. It says, Chris Murray's computer has three memory cards with 64 gigabytes of space each and two memory cards with 16 gigabytes of space each. The files on her computer use 78 gigabytes of space. How much memory does her computer have left? So this is going to be a multiple step problem. We can see that we need to do a couple things here. And I'm going to show you one way that this problem can be done. Um, one way is step one, find out how much memory is on three memory cards with 64 gigabytes of space each. So here's a picture to help us understand. The three spaces stand for the memory cards, and each of them can hold 64, um, 64 um, gigabytes. So n equals the total amount, and to do that, we do 3 times 64. Now, let me see here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I think I did this so I can write on it. We'll use red. Okay, so um, we need to find that out how much um, 64 times 3 is. And I guess I am writing kind of big here. But 3 times 4 is 12, right? And we carry the 1. And 3 times um, 6 is 18, and 1 more is 19. So 3 times 64 equals 192. All right, so that's one thing that we found. But now we have another step, step 2. Find out how much memory is on two memory cards. So now we have two memory cards that have 18 gigabytes of space. So I'm going to see here if it'll let me erase this, which it will, because I'm going to need some more space. And we'll do the next problem. Let's find out that 16 plus 16 or 16 times 2, um, and 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 more is 3. So this is, the answer here is 32 equals P. All right, now the next thing that we do, now we know how much each memory card holds all together, but now to find out how much we have with both of them, we have to add them together. And so we're going to add 192 plus 32, and 2 plus 2 is 4. And 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, and so this answer is 2, 2, 4, All right, and I'll, I'll erase this so I have some more space. You can probably, if you need to use some space off to the side, you can probably write it smaller. Actually, hey, I think I figured out something else I can do. Okay, and then step four, 
the files used 78 gigabytes of space. How much space, um, how much uh, memory does the computer have left? Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to have to subtract. And I'm going to see, I think I can write over here too. I just figured out. So this is going to give me some more space. Remember when we subtract, we make sure that we line up our letters here. I mean our, um, yeah, our numbers, I mean. Okay, and so we go to subtract and we say 8 minus 4. Can you do that? You can't do that because 4 is smaller than 8. So you have to borrow. And that leaves 1 there. And that becomes 14. Now, 8 and what makes 14? Six, right? Okay, now we come to this one and we say, can we take seven away from one? And we can't do that. So we have to come over here and borrow again. This becomes a one and this becomes 11. All right, now seven plus what is 11? Four, right? Okay, and then we can subtract this one and it is one and so our answer here is 146 it's a little sloppy here because um it's kind of hard for me to write and then i think there's a spot down here that i didn't get snipped that you write this number again to say, so she had this much space. All right, very good. Now let me see oops, if I can uh, do a new snip. New. Um, okay, let's see here. Hmm, maybe if I go like this, let's see what happens. Nope. Hmm. Well, I need... Okay, I'm going to just stop the video here and I'll do another video for the next page.